What's up legends, LGG Alden here. Today I'm back with episode 18 of my Game Maker Studios top down game tutorials. I can't believe we're already on episode 18 guys. That's actually a lot more than I thought I'd get. So, but glad you guys are all enjoying this so far. So, last time we found a glitch where CPUs and enemies couldn't go through an open door. And I looked into it a little bit. I still have not found a way to fix that i don't really know what the issue with that is it's a war it's something to do with the paths and how the movement and everything works that it's gridding out a path and that the door kind of cancels that out so i think it's it's a little bit to do with things i tried a little bit i have not figured it out yet but i do want to get another video recorded for you guys so carry on with this this one won't have anything to do with those the door or anything I will do my best. Once I figure it out, guys, I will tell you how to fix it as soon as I can. So, for this episode, though, guys, we are going to be doing a score system. So, we'll make the GUI and everything and the variable to keep track of it all. So, just to have scores. So, basically, we can use that score for anything we want to in any way. But to have a score variable, so we'll keep track of... It'll basically say the score is you get plus one every time you kill one of those red squares. Or enemy square things. So to start this off, we are going to do a. Where should we start this? Probably at the game setup. We'll do it here. We'll do global dot g score equals zero. So you might want to copy that just so you have that variable. So G score equals zero. Now we can keep track of this actually, we can display it. So here's what we're gonna do. We're going to do, where should we set this? Um, draw underscore text. And then we will do, wait, do we already have the font set? We should, I think. Yeah, I think, uh, well, I don't even know. If, uh, no, we don't even have fonts, Never mind. So here's where we're gonna draw this. Right now, actually, let me run it and see where, oh, hold up. Now let's run it. So let's see where we have the GUI as of now. So we have it in this corner. So we'll put it over here, actually, and the size of room, that is room, that is important too. So we'll go room test. The size of the room is, oh wait, fuse. Okay. So I believe that means we got, okay, so let's try some numbers here. So draw underscore text, and then we will do, let's see, dx plus, uh, I'm trying to think, 1,000, well, okay, let's try 980. Let's see where that puts us. I think I'm going off the right stuff. And then we'll do dy plus, what's the other ones go to? Um, do, 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 health is plus 16, so we'll try plus 16. And then we'll do score plus, and then actually do, yeah, okay. So like that. Let's see where that puts us for GUI. It'll just show a zero for the score as of now, but that's completely fine. That's how we want it. Oh, where did we go wrong with this? Execution error, draw. Hmm. Oh, that's what it is. I know what it is, guys. Whoops, sorry about that. So string, so you gotta make this a string because as of now, it is a number. You don't want it to be an integer. You want it to be a string. That's better. Okay, so we're a little bit off. So we will actually take this back to maybe 960. Let's try that. As long as we have it displaying basic score, that'll be fine. Play new. We'll bring it just a little bit more. We'll go 950. No, because we want it to be able to go a decent score if there was to ever get to that point. So maybe 930. Let's try that. And this is just a lot of guess and check, guys. So play it. I think that'll be fine for now. Because you don't need it to be too crazy. Unless... 
Make it 920. That's I don't even want to test it. We'll be fine there. So that's going to display the score for now. We don't need to make it too fancy yet, which is fine. And then here we go. We'll go into the enemies. So in the enemy, we will do in the step event. Where is it? Where does it show? Instance destroy. Is that? Oh, if health is zero. Okay. And then also one thing that it will do is this is going to be the first thing. So it'll do global.score plus equals one. So that's what you get every time you kill one of them or destroy them. Let's try that out. See that that works. Play. Here we go. Oh, whip, whoops. Oh, no. Yeah, doors are a little glitchy. I really should have put a little more thought into that, guys. I apologize. They're not the most efficient thing to use. Okay, so score equals one. Score equals two. Okay, so that's going good. So I think we actually have this down, which should be fine. There's two here, I think. Oh, no, there isn't. Yeah, the way we got a shotgun now. Except I believe I killed them all. And there's still the little NPC guy. Okay, so that works fine, actually. And then one of the reasons I do want to have this, guys, this variable and the fact we have health, ammo, and all that, I do plan to do a video, guys, soon on saving and loading, which is a, kind of an important thing when it comes to certain games. This might be a little tricky because we may or may not have to save where gun, lo gun locations are and everything like that. At the moment, that might be a little sketchy. So, but if we're going to start it off, we're going to start it off with ammo, the amount in your gun, the health you have, and your score and stuff like that. And possibly enemies. I don't know. It's it's a work in progress. That's why I'm trying to build up to it, guys. So right now, everything we have is kind of working towards more higher up concepts, which would definitely consist of saving and loading, a little bit more scripting, harder things more intent or more advanced concepts for this stuff because i do want to work towards advancing this game and making it a little nicer eventually maybe an inventory system anything like that so getting a really cool concept to this having like a hot bar all that thing all those things maybe like a drag and drop all this different stuff so that's kind of what i'm working for this episode was obviously very small and it was kind of a very basic one but it is something I want to add as a score because that will be used later. Like I said, it will help. Maybe we can use the score towards upgrading things, buying things. We'll figure it out as we go. Also, if you guys have suggestions for what to do, like whether you'd want to see a shop system, the what, like things you want to see first, loading and saving, if that's one of the things, a like the shop, like I said, inventory, hot bar, all that different things. Having multiple guns in your inventory at once, switching between them, all the things, anything you guys want to see. Like I said, comment that. I do read all of your comments. Also, if you guys have any issues, any errors, whether that be previous videos, whether that be this one, or anything in the future, guys, comment that. I will always look at your comments and do my best to help you. I usually don't have an issue when it comes to this, helping you guys, so I do my best every time, guys. But that's all I got today, guys. Not much, but like I said, it's going to help in the long run for this game. Hopefully, you guys have been enjoying these so far. If you are, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. We really appreciate when you guys do. But thank you all for watching. Remember to be a legend, and I will see you guys next time.